DBE. Danielle Brandon Energy. It's a real thing. Danielle does everything with flair, including her hair. Her background is in track and field, where she competed in high school and college. Her specialty, the pole vault. That was Danny Brandon's yeah, right there. She's a track star. She has incredible body awareness, and anytime she kicks up onto her hands, she'll probably win that workout. In 2021, she really caught the eyes and hearts of our community. So who are we rooting for? Danielle Brandon! I love Danielle. Yeah. Danielle Brandon! Even though she was relegated to her own lane due to health protocols, she went on to finish 11th. And amongst all the other athletes competing that year, she gained the most new followers on social media. But now we're here in Knoxville, Tennessee, home of the Mac, to see if Daniel Brandon could qualify to get back to the CrossFit Games. Roll the push. Okay, we got event one, it's a complex. You gotta do three cleans, two front squats, and one jerk. Stuck to the game plan. Did what I thought I was gonna do. one of those, we're just gonna get through it, do the best we can. She's gonna be a savage the rest of the week now. Goal weight was 205 to 210. I really wanted 210, but I had a couple fits um, in training about 210, so I was really happy to actually like solidify it and hit it. And we knew it wouldn't be, it would probably be my worst finish of the weekend, and it was better than we thought of a finish. Third lift didn't go her way, but the first two did pretty good. That's the one where she was, uh, I think, nervous about. The rest of them, she's, she's like, I'm licking my lips for the next one, licking my chops. Well, let's go find out how she feels about it. We hit our goal weight. It's exactly what we wanted. It was a great start. It was exactly what we expected, which is good, right? Like, that's what we've been practicing, and it's a good thing that we executed I mean, that. And I mean, is, you didn't even, you hadn't even hit I hadn't that even in hit practice. that in training, so. For not squatting and not cleaning for months at a time is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what's proud. next? Uh, overhead squat workout and handstand walk and GHGs. You I'm happy pumped. with that? Yeah, I like this workout. I'm just excited to do something that I'm good at now. Yeah, what are you going to eat? Uh, oatmeal with protein. It has a banana and some frozen berries and honey and cinnamon. It is so good. The key, you microwave the berries so they get like kind of warm and juicy and it's so good. Not ideal. I have chocolate protein, but... Who would I be if I didn't show up unprepared? So. How'd it go? Better than expected. What did you expect? Uh, I was gonna be happy with 200. And so I hit 185, I hit 200 and it felt pretty good. Um, in practice I had hit, I had missed 205. So I was going to try that. But then I looked at Rich and he was like 210. And I was like, all right, we're gonna send it. You've been working on that mustache a yeah, little bit. a little bit. Looking fresh. A little bit, thank you. You about to go back out? Yes, sir. Okay, how we feeling? Feeling great. Like, yeah, the fittest firefighter on earth and your team back there? That's true. That's yeah. why we got the stash of support, first responders, military. There you go. I mean, I PR'd my power clean for a touch and go double by 10 pounds. That was yeah. good though. How was the adrenaline out there? 
Oh, it's through the roof. I'd only hit, I hit 315 twice in that complex in training. And then that 325 felt 10 times easier than the 315s, so. All right, event one down. Danielle Brandon sits in 13th. So I, I think, you know, she's coming back harboring a little bit of a back injury, but she said that, that she hit the weights that she wanted to hit. So she's happy. So I think that the rest of the weekend is just gonna be, Right? What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, I think I think the terminology is yeah. she's licking her chops. Le for what's yeah, common. yeah, yeah. Like we're just licking our chops for all the other ones. Okay, do you know where you're at? No. Do you want to know? No. Okay, good. I'm just kidding. I'm in second. You're in second place right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? Tied for second. Okay. With how many other women? I think three. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Marjorie, explain who she is and why we know her. Oh, so she goes to our gym back in, uh, well, she, she used, used to, to used gym. to go I to Excel. She's an Excel local, but now she <laughs> recently transferred down and is now part of the, uh, the underdog squad. I'm sorry. Yes, no. oh, Say hi to Look at that trap. All right, before we do I the know. interview, we got to watch SS do a push All right, that's 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 He's going to do it with this. No, Are I don't have a band. Okay, fine. I'll join We got bands on bands on bands. Thirty. You're cheating. No thirty. Yeah. Okay, what was the final count? What'd you get? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Thirty. <laughs> oh. One game win streak. Look at this. So, so he gave me this book. Like I've got a lot of good come ups right here. Yeah. Look at this. Banded with dumbbell deadlifts. So what I did was I categorized all of like the really cool, effective complexes. It's like let me put this in a book as like an index. Oh, it looks so big. So huge. It's, I mean, listen, I was much bigger, especially after show season. I had three shows in a row, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back weekends. What is this sign? What am I looking at? It's a DB's logo. Uh, so my logo. I don't know, we wanted a super simple logo um, that was appealing to everybody and we could put it everywhere and anywhere. And what does DBE stand for? Daniel Brandon Energy. It's a real thing. It is, okay. it is. All right, what are we grabbing? Seeing if I have a hair tie. Do you need a hair tie? Do you have one? That is so clutch. And it's pink. How we doing? You might notice that my hair is down. You just gave I, away your hair I tie? I just gave my hair tie to the wow. end of So what you a good win, cause. This doesn't just happen by accident. the finish line. You're like, give me that back. She asked for mine, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Bye la, bye la, bye la. As a brown man who dances, I approve. Okay. I approve. Go. I mean, Joanne grew up as a dancer, so I think she rubbed off on me a little bit. I like that. I like hey, that. You're getting way too comfortable, Robbie. <laughs> Saying he needs a lot of work. He came second oh. like this year. Oh. <laughs> oh. Last year he won, and then this year. This is, this is what happened. I go up to Nashville last year, talk some shit, and she's just been like, no filter ever since. Yeah. I need to put him in his place, that you little bad. young one. But anyways, when are we going to come and get some cake with that's this a, one? What, that's up to y'all when y'all coming. Yeah. Bro, I love carrot cake, though. It's not carrot cake. <laughs> it's not? Saxon. Saxon. Yep. Okay. All right. That's it. I feel... I feel I feel torn. We got other athletes in the field as well. But Do you? Yeah, I just felt like... In, that this, was a, in this heat? Yeah, this heat. Uh, that was a reaction. <laughs> but I got to stick with my instinct. Next event. I don't know what it is. It's a chipper. Let's go. I wanted to go hard and then like Brooke got off like nine or ten reps ahead of me and I was like, all right, well you just gotta be tough. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Look how fast he's going. I, I see it right here. I'm on, I've got a great view of it. Who are we cheering for right now? Uh, Judge Colty. Let's go, Colty! Yeah, the Colt train! Come on, Colty! Let's go! Come on! Well, we're, we're here to support Jake. He's taking a long rest right now. Approaching the bar. He's approaching the bar. He looks like he could be related to Matt Fraser. Getting the shot? Yeah. It's a good angle. Remember earlier when I said Danielle Brandon was gonna win workouts where she had to kick upside down? Well, this time Brooke Wells smashed the first round and held on to that lead, taking first place, but Danielle finished a solid 16 seconds behind her to take second. <laughs> How'd it go? It was good. 
I like so practice strong. a version of it. Um, and it was definitely just like a yeah. GHD workout. <laughs> like when you put like someone as good as Brooke and I, we're both really good overhead. So, oh, thank you. Um, it just comes down to like the GHD speed. And she was just a little faster on the set of 50. You know? Have Brooke, someone like Brooke Wells beat you. I call it a good day. You look like you're having fun. Yeah. You're definitely like, you're smiling the whole time. You look like you're having a good vibe. Yeah, yeah. it is. Like, it's like when you prepare for a competition yeah. and you feel well prepared, it's like better. It's easier to have fun. Yeah. So. Hey dude, how'd it go? That was good. I think I was like second. I wasn't going to touch Saxon. He'd already done like four or five reps or whatever. Uh, just like keep the pace up on the GHD and see if you can just keep holding on. Hey, how old are you now, Pep? I'm 20. 20? Yeah. Jeez. You got kids yet or what? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how old were you when you got married? I was 19. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. You can see why I asked that question. Yeah, yeah. Utah. Yes. Represent yeah. us. Welcome to Utah. Welcome. Tell, me, tell me how we feel, how we looking. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we knew the first one, like I said, prior to the weekend. She actually hit her goal, 210. Yeah. Um, that second one just ended up being a GHD race, yeah. and we paced it a little, a little too much. I'll take full, full blame on that. She kept creeping up. Just, if we need one more round to catch up, yeah. but that was that was easy work. She was not even tired after that. So we're gonna come out tomorrow in the legless and just go stupid fast. That's the one. That's, yeah, that's the one. She's we're just a shot silly right fast. Okay. I mean, and then we should be good, man. I mean, honestly, she's fit as. <coughs> She's grown so much from last year. You guys remember the West Coast last year. It was like, yeah, yeah. She's she's dialed in. She's so much fitter. She knows it. And then Kyra's in sixth right now, so she's gonna be in that third heat tomorrow. So we're we're looking good right now. All right, yeah. the dog's I'm happy, over. brother. I love it. All right, we're talking. We got to the end of day one. Except we're gonna go meet Danielle for food, and I see some people out here rubbing some old school merch. What's oh, up, yeah. guys? Oh, yeah. The bat football. Uh, okay. It's solid. It's okay. good. I recommend it. Okay, got it. You really should get it. Oh, uh, all I hear about yeah, is how she, is how oh, how shitty of an influence oh, I am. Yeah, yeah he's always uh, like I'm two sixteen. Yeah. I so oh, I gotta eat my peas and eggs oh, when I get yeah. back to the city. And then he, and then he to... shows up with a box no, no, of donuts. No, no, no. He shows up heavier. <laughs> yeah. And then shows yeah. up with more donuts. Yeah. Yeah. My guy. Yeah. Okay, I bought a bunch of donuts because I'm a great friend. I just wanted other people to have treats. Yeah, it's kind of sad that you're eating donuts before dinner. Also, I've also already ordered him dinner. Then what does he do? A fish and chips. When in Rome, do as Romans. Trying to come up. Your, your goals don't align with your, your lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Night All right. Good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you the I made friends with the uh, security guard today. Salted caramel, it's a new flavor. I'm excited oh. to try it. Okay, oh so because Beam was super excited about their new flavor, Oops. we're actually gonna choose three comments from YouTube instead of just one. But here's the tricky thing. I think we can only ship this inside of the United States. So if you win the giveaway today in the comments and you're not from the US, <laughs> just slide in my DMs and we'll, we'll hook you up with something else. So here are the comments. Are you guys ready? Ooh, which one did you choose? I picked three. Oh. I did it at random. Here's the sliding around. Okay, so there's okay. three different winners? Okay, Nicole Blackard said, weird dream, because the last time we asked, what is your weirdest dream? Run down a hill to the CrossFit Games, Hawaii cliff style, and a cat turns into a bear. My scream has zero noise. I then decided to jump in the water. Boom, I wake up in a full sweat. Of course, I did the Stairmaster today, that day. It was real. Wait, weird dreams. aren't bear swimmers anyways? What does she imply like they're not? Uh, yeah, right. they definitely swim. Nicole Blackard, you got yourself a new bag of beans. Yeah, Whoa. salty caramel coming, coming your, your way. way. As long yeah. as you're in the U.S. Madison Schofield, Ooh, weirdest dream I had recently was being hunted by zombies. Okay, and the last but my favorite comment. Oh, when is one of the giveaway prizes going to be a day with Morstan? <laughs> He's a hottie. He's a hottie. <laughs> oh. I feel flattered. Thank yeah. you. And you're getting some beam. I don't know. Heaves is it in the What was her name? What was her name? Is it a dream come true? Is it a dream come true? Oh, you've been sitting <laughs> you're on that You're just getting one. beams. That's good uh, her name is Kimber Jones. Thanks for your comment, Kimber. Thank you all for liking and subscribing to the video. Do it now if you haven't. And then share it with your friends on social media. You know, take a screenshot, blast it, mm -hmm. spread the butter, spread the joy. Mm -hmm. Real quick, Kim Jones slams his DMs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slams his DMs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> God damn. You got my face. <laughs> <laughs> you got my face. That bird. That bird. Is that coming out your nose? Oh, yeah. That <laughs> bird. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you all on the flip side. Early in the morning. All right, what we got here, boys? Okay, so when in the South, everyone always recommends go to Cracker Barrel to wake and drink. So we finally did. We don't really ever go to Chance because Mars is against them. This is our boy Grant. Grant, say yeah, hi. Yeah, welcome to the show. Cheers. Knoxville, Tennessee, where I was born and raised in. Nothing like the local spot. All right, Mars is about to dive in. Wow, that was actually really good. <laughs> oh, no way. It's buttery. It's moist. It's very plain, but it's like surprisingly good. I'm gonna say it's an 8.7. Out of all the pancakes I've had, I really like texture. So the crispiness bumps it up in my book. I'm gonna go nine. I'm gonna dive in. Hey, Cracker Bell, you get to play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nine. That's a really good pancake. There's no frill. Yeah. I like the little crunchiness to it. <laughs> that is good. That's a nine. Who would have thought a chain would have a really high pancake? Let's go. What's up, people? We're here at Rocky Top CrossFit. We decided to come over here, crash a class. Shirts so, are already on. Interacting with what the up? local community right here, you know? <laughs> so, we're gonna get after it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this looks good. It is about the daughter combo. Kill for life. Get it. Synchro toes bar. Woo. Okay, so this is my friend. What's your name? Jim. Jim, what's, Jim your, what's your Instagram? So, Calvan Designs. Calvin Designs. And I work for Stadium Custom Kicks. So you yeah. build customs for stadiums, or what does that so, mean? So, no, we actually paint custom shoes and cleats for athletes. Oh, oh gotcha. This is what I've done. Oh, let's take a look. I haven't seen these. Oh. Ooh, look at this. Oh, those look good. I have a light on that, like dope. These are phenomenal. Look at this, they this even have rain, rain on there. Rain and blenders. He's got podium, whoop, and go wad. He's got our people. Yeah. And here we got roll the footage. Oh! Yep. And then wait for it, wait for it, you ready? Yeah. Pow! Oh, hi, honey! Oh, that's wow. good. Oh, yep. And just shake it in like this. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, yep. baby. Put it in, put it in, put that's it, it in. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. There that's it. it, that's, that's it. it. That's it. There, there it is. It. There it is. There it is. There Polaroid. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's good. Got the crunch. Poof, he's got a mold. It's got to start with him growing before I just shave, because yeah. that's a full commitment. There's nothing to shave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I need like two weeks of growth out of you before I shave. <laughs> Commit two, two weeks for you to shave? Yeah. yeah. Shave? I'll not shave for two weeks to shave your head. Yes. <laughs> I get to shave it. I get to yes. shave it. No. Yes. No. Seen, sung, and almost delivered. All right, we're heading back over to the venue. Get back over there and see some Danielle action. It's going to be neat. <laughs> All right, we got legless rope climbs and a lot of sprinting. Danielle has called her shots that she's gonna win this workout. She's sitting in fifth place. And then uh, our girl Kyra is like a little bit of a damage control event, but I think that, you know, she could potentially move up a little bit. We'll see. Right now, Brooke Wells is in first place. She's my favorite Brooke. Favorite Brooke. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, do that. The next shoe? Oh, yeah. Those are both new. The future. The future, yeah. They're both cool. Yeah, I only have one of each, so. I had to mix and match. Yeah, yeah. Only DB has these. Called my shot, legless, went so well in practice. Maybe I was just a little heavy, didn't feel as good, but had a clutch comeback because reps nine and 10 were so close. Um, and it could have been a disaster, but it wasn't. It was a good learning experience and I really like pushed myself as an athlete to that red line and came up with what? A, a fifth. I think a fifth. Okay, so how are we feeling this whole season? How are we feeling about it? I'm feeling good. I uh, made a lot of big changes in the, I guess we could say, off season. Uh, so I moved down to Nashville to train with Proven and Tia, Shane, Brooke, and the rest of the squad down there. 
I didn't want to waste any time and have any regrets on this season of, you know, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. And for me, it's, you know, take risk. Uh, and I think that carries over to what we do in CrossFit is who's willing to take those risks and who's willing to make those payoffs. How are we feeling? Good, ready to keep going. This next one's your jam, right? Yeah, I've been running more than anything else, so I'm ready to prove it. Not the best I've ever felt, like, not physically, but spiritually, emotionally. Yeah. It's, never, it's never fun to be sitting in a spot you don't want to be in. Three events left to try to claw my way back. Honestly, this morning was a little bit of a mental battle, like feeling a little discouraged, disappointed, worried about the spot that I'm in. But I had a good conversation with Joanne. She does a really good job of like helping me keep my head straight and telling me that being anxious is a normal feeling that everybody experiences it rather than like trying to get rid of it. Just accept it, acknowledge it, and make the most of whatever the situation is. Take it one event at a time and do everything that I can. So that's where I'm at. Nine, 10 were the sketchiest. Like I almost failed. Like if you fail, like you're gonna like rest a really long time and possibly not get it. So clutch, clutch performance at the end. All right, boys, what are we looking at over here? Leaderboard. <laughs> leaderboard? <laughs> We're leaderboarding. What's happening I'm on the leaderboard? I'm supposed to be the only one allowed to be on the leaderboard. Everybody else, but. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I bet this guy's in first. And where are you at? Fifth? Yeah. How's the, how, how are you recovering? How's the knee? Pretty beat up. I'm like, just excited to be here with these guys, though. Did you play sports in high school? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you play? Uh, gymnastics, swimming and diving, and track and field. What's the highest you've ever jumped on a pole vault? Pole vault? Um, around 14 feet. Would you say you're more of a singer or a dancer? Singer. Singer? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to hear some of them pipes. You know what I mean? I like to think I can dance, but I really just... I usually like to go out and then mimic other people's dance moves. If I was to give you a dance move, you think you could follow? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So I brought this for Chief. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, you gotta take it two hands. Yeah, Chief, get out of here. You gotta go to the twist and a. Go give it another two more. Ah! Can you do me a favor and just shake shake this can up, will you? Yeah. Gosh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 What's up, dude? Oh. How are we doing? Would you like a watermelon? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That was, that was, uh, that was uneventful. <laughs> Cheers. 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 He's got the Midas touch. Yeah, he does. Oh. Let's go oh. give this one a chance. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Marcy's just trying to get me back for all the jabs the last five years. Very time much. Train. What time's the train leave? Yeah. Well, it didn't leave. The train didn't leave the station this time. Okay, so Danielle's in second. I think she's pretty secure. This is going to be a good one for her. It's a 25 minute time cap. It's like a big chipper with pushes and pulls. She's tied for second with Bailey Rail, who I really like. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. This guy, a comeback story of the oh, oh, yeah. Hey, where can people donate? Uh, Link in description. We'll tell yeah. you the story later. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah my cool. boy. Sure. All right, dude, how we doing? Ready to do some running. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you been practicing? I've been doing a little bit here and there. Yeah, how often are you running? Uh, minimum of three times a week. You know, I'm unathletic, you know? Just <laughs> too short, can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> going this way? Yeah. All right, I'll have the record state that nobody has finished this workout. Can Danielle or another one of these top ladies do it? Uh, historically, it takes longer to run 400 meters on the true form than it does on the assault runner. I mean, or just on ground at all. Yeah, definitely. All of them are slower than ground runners. Plus, it's weird because you think you're actually running 400 meters. You haven't moved three meters. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mouse on a wheel type of yeah, situation. Yeah, you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> I had a game plan. We knew the true forms were a little slower, so I knew I wanted to attack the first two rounds as far as unbroken wall balls, unbroken chest-to-bar, push the pace on the run, but really breathe on the sandbags. 
And a lot of girls went touch and go, and I just stuck to my game plan of doing singles. That's a longer workout, right? So I think a lot of girls can get scared when they're not in the lead, but it's so long, it's a 25 minute workout. And Brooke wasn't too far ahead, so I wasn't super worried. I think I took over in round three on the sled and it felt good. I, I knew like she wasn't far behind, so I obviously still tried to push the run a little bit, but it was really solidified like after the run and after the wall balls. I did not think I would win that event, but I did, and it's awesome because that's something I've been training really hard for. Three, two, one, Yeah. Fit motherfucker, you. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Love it. There was a little bit of blood in the water there, and you just yeah. put your phone on the gas. I loved yeah. every second of it. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. You're so fit. The longer yeah, absolutely. Too, you know? Crush it. Because, I mean, last year, ball the fucking way. Yeah. And now, man, that is yeah. just, uh, that it just shows how far you've come. Yeah. So proud of you, dude. Oh, so oh my God, so good. And you were, and you played your game. Yeah. Because she went out with the touch and goes. I saw that. And they all like, went out and touch with goes. And I was, and I said it, because yeah. Nikki had me on the side. And I was like, we're going to see. It's a long game. It's a though. long workout. That was like a painting. It was yeah, beauty. Yeah. Third round sucked, but I was like, okay, like. No, but you were tough, though. You I was stayed only, tough. I only varied like 10 seconds on the run. Yeah. So. You stay tough, and then on that yeah. last round, we just we dropped the balls. hammer, dog. Yeah. I know, unbroken wall ball, unbroken yeah. chest wall. Yeah. 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 Hey, let's let's go, Dallin. I should have bet him double or nothing. I can't tell you how proud I am, dude. For real. I, like, I mean, think I'm about it. think about it. In the title, I was like, I'm doing it. But think about what the event was, though. Like, I know, right? Like just the most brutal, the most brutal one of the weekend, and just she just took it. That's, I love it. Yeah, you are. Yeah, we talked about it. I like pee my pants, dude. I'm like, my body's gone. Later, later when you start peeing, that's okay. Oh, it was so good, dude. My God. How'd it go? Um, it went good. I just tried to hold my own, run my race. It's kind of like a high power output workout, in my opinion. Um, and so I just wanted to stay steady and cruise on the things that I could. So like the wall ball chest bar, stay steady on the run, and then run my race on the tank push sandbag clean. Did you do that? Are you happy with it? Yeah. yeah. Yep, happy with my effort. That was like the hardest 350 meters of my life at the end, or four, whatever it was. That run was hard, but just have to ask how bad do you want it. Okay, so how bad do you want it? What do we need to bad. do tomorrow? We need to come out and fight. That's my goal tomorrow. Uh, that last one, that one, uh, that one went good. That one, I feel like it hurt a lot of people, but. <laughs> Um, torque tank was a good time. Okay. Definitely my first experience with the torque tank, so it was fun to figure out on the fly. What's your background? Background, like what did I do before? Yeah. Um, I've been doing CrossFit for about three years, volleyball. Um, I played college volleyball and a um, little bit of gymnastics. Thank you for getting me 20 bucks today. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. You do need it. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to put. You don't make much money doing this. Nike probably doesn't pay you. Dude, your contract's up soon, isn't it? <laughs> Who will you go with next? I'm gonna give her a call. Puma. <laughs> Wait, 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 what the hell? You yeah, making right. side bets on our girl? I made a side bet. I said, hey, I got 20 bucks on you. No, I went up to her and I was like, hey, how good do you feel about this workout? And she was like, eh. And I was like, all right, 20 bucks, that's it. Like, I was gonna do 50. Oh. I was gonna do 50. Oh. I had 50 so on the line. Money for that, which is fine. It's fine. I was thinking earlier, if I didn't do well enough this weekend, might end up having to go to the uh, last, chance. last chance qualifier. Yeah. And when I was having those thoughts, I was like, dude, why not just do everything you can right now yeah. so that that doesn't happen and yeah. you can save yourself that hassle. So I'm trying to 
make we'll sure I do that now. Day. I know. Yeah, a lot of things to shake and up two up. good ones, I think. So yeah, good ones for you, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think right. so. I hope good. so. Yeah. We'll see. Good night, fellas. Good night. Good night, Dylan. All I heard about was all your love. All right, people. We got ten minutes. We about to hit a two-minute challenge. I'm gonna go. He's gonna go. Then he's gonna go. Woo! Two minutes max burpees over a 35-pound dumbbell. Let's get it. Oh, you're moving. There you go. That's it. That's it. Get down. Get real. Oh yeah. Fifty. You think? Yeah, well, it's hard to count. <laughs> I keep trying to <laughs> go. 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 Tomorrow I will see you on your face. Jump over it. Two. There you go. Fifty. Eight. 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 Four. Eight. Nine. Come on. Eight. Four. Four. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> He got real. Right? He got so real. That ah. sucks. Ah. That sucks. That sucks. 51 or more. You gotta get 51 or more. He for sure got 50. Come on. Go. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, See, then that's 53. Yeah, some of those little suspects, you know. He either got 53 or 54. I don't know which side he started on. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, happened, doesn't. But he won. That's a victory. Yeah, that's a one-game win streak. Let's do it again. Yeah, run back. <laughs> Patty beat it. You get tired. Oh, there you we go. Tie. Woo! Patty B. Dude, what are you doing right now? I'm looking at an app. <laughs> not like that. You're looking at an app? Uh, no, I'm you looking at- You got a girlfriend at, right now? No, okay, not like that. <laughs> Cut that. No, I'm looking at cliff diving. I'm trying to put myself up, man. If I can see enough people do it, I'm like, yeah, I could do that. I'm gonna be fine. Uh, we've met up with our ninja. What Say what, Graham? We're in Tennessee. Uh, we're yeah. in Knoxville, Tennessee. Send it. We we wanted to send it. The you know Danielle Brandon sent it on the thing today, and now we're gonna send it off a cliff. We're at Fort Dickerson. Um, it's What'd a rock quarry. Okay. <laughs> and. Yeah. Uh, it's an old spot. They dug out all these rocks. They hit a water line and filled all up with water. A so water line. Now we jump into it. You sure it wasn't like nat a natural whale? He's gonna jump off that that tall boy over there. We're gonna film with the drone. But until then, we're gonna chill here. And then he's gonna give us the signal, which is more kind of like a R34 now. It's a little different. Do you have an emergency <laughs> contact or anything? Yeah, yeah. Call my dad, Ron McCartney, and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna swim across. I'm gonna climb up. Hopefully, the swim's not too bad, and we're gonna send it off the big end. Oh, damn. That boy's got big old pineapples. <laughs> my heart rate's elevated. Same. I'm oh. nervous. Don't I'm covering my tracks. This was sketch. I was like, the drone's up. Let's go. Yeah. Cover my tracks. Well, it's kind of hard to follow that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's not the Oops All Berries kind, though. It's the blue box. All right, we just got to uh, the Airbnb of the athletes. Is this what's happening here? What are the rules? They give you a car. The car, like, lets you know everything. We just went cliff jumping. Yeah. What? Oh my god, you did? You yeah. wanted to go. You guys did? Really actually wanted. Did you not hear I... me when I said, oh, we should go cliff jumping later? I literally said that. I didn't hear really? that. Really? I know how you do that at the beginning, right? She'll start. You can either grab from the discard pile or the main deck. Yeah, we're ready. Oh, so, my bad, my bad. What just yeah. happened, Eve? I just came in their house and laid down the law. So, yes. hospitality out here. Yeah. <laughs> this man shows up someone's house and beats them at their own game. Really we are about to read off the win. And for the last place, with 280 points, Grant. Oh, it's win, baby! After that, we have 250 points with Sabrina. Oh, right. 230 points. Hard. Hard. Okay. Fourth 
with 200. Yeah, body weight. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's under body weight. Come on. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. And third, we have Kai. Woo! With 150 points. Okay, so that comes down to YouTube. Yeah, now, coming now, to YouTube. coming in first place with 75 points. I just the team. The guy who got first place. He had a free round. Yeah. 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 Two rounds. She came in second with 120 points. Yeah. I like this game. Let's play it again. Yeah. Thanks for having us over, guys. That was fun. Yeah. Nice splash deep pot. Good, yeah. Good luck, everybody. Okay, day it? three. It, our girl's looking good. She's in second place right now. But right down, behind Sydney McAllison yeah, out of Canada. Down in fifth, we got Brooke Wells. So she needs a big effort on this next event to, to jump and have some security. Okay, did you take the men's at all? Probably didn't screen grab the men's. The men's! I'm a little worried for my boy Noel Olsen. He's down there a little bit. Uh, you got that. Down Pepper, Saxon Patrick. They're the only ones that are secure, but it's third through like ninth, up in the air. Man. I feel like Noah's gonna pull it out. Yeah, so I'm moving for him. Yeah, he's such a nice guy. I mean, he could get in on his behavior alone. Fins up, you know what I mean? Fins up, Fins up. So just to give you a sense of what's happening, they're gonna start on this bike over here. Then they're gonna go here to this rig, and they're gonna do 30 toes to bar. Then what are they gonna do here, Mars? Tell them. They're gonna do snatches, alternating dumbbell snatches. They're gonna move up every 10. Then they're gonna do 30 toes to bar on this rig. They're gonna come all the way up here. These are a big old tabletop box jump overs right here, you know? Yeah, 20 of them. 20 of them. But that, 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 could you get over that? Yeah, I can definitely get over that. I'm a grown ass man. Go dummy, go beast. Oh no, I go beast. Go deep, I go deep. Oh no, I go deep. For the bike, I knew everybody would be the same because distance doesn't really reward a higher output. It just re rewards consistency. First off, it's Brooke Wells making a statement right after her and Danielle Bandit. Both grab the bar at the same time. It's gonna be a battle. That was the only one I didn't practice. So I was kind of nervous, but then kind of right before I was like, I feel like this is gonna be one of those workouts where I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna be like, that's it. Not in like, a savage way. And then I knew when I got to the dumbbell, I wanted to like be hot, like just like sprint them. Cause I knew I think a, a lot of other girls were gonna be like a more controlled sprint, but I wanted to just like hammer them out. I was starving skinny, on my weight up, got no energy for it. Um, and then I think three of us got to the toast bar at the same time, but I knew being smart doing a 12, 10, eight would pay off and it did. Yeah. I think my boy Noah is about to pull it off. And then I think when I got to the box jump overs, I was just like, it's over. It was like, it's over for them. Yeah, she won. She won. She won. She did pretty good. She, did. she executed as a, as a she did. Yeah, plan. Yeah, it was perfect. What was the plan? Go fast. Go fast. Okay, yeah. she did that. Yeah. yeah she did no, that. honestly, uh, 60, hold 65 on the bike and then trust your fitness. 65 what? RPMs? RPMs, yeah. Okay. And then trust that's, your fitness. That's the number you're picking. Yeah, the, the I was RPMs, just about not to blow up and be smart. Okay. Um, unbroken total bar, unbroken dumbbell snatch. She went three sets on the total bar and then just use your athleticism on the burpees. Okay, She's what, an athlete. Does, what does she need to do now? Just, just win again. What was the strategy? Just go hard. The bike was the same for everyone. And then I think the 30 toes bar, I knew I wanted to do the first set unbroken. And then I just wanted to hammer the dumbbell snatches no matter what. Because everybody was just going to be hanging on for the second set of toes bar. So I knew I just wanted to hammer them and not save anything for the toes bar. You like this next one? I like it. But it's going to be the most painful one of the weekend. How'd it go? Good job. It was good. Yeah? Needed that. Hey, good job. Hey, the man's back, hey? Good job. Yeah, I'm gone. Gone? A little hot, but like nothing bad. That was good. That was a fun time. Those uh, burpee box jump overs really get you at the end there. Yeah? Yeah. I uh, ended up pushing the dumbbell snatch. That was a fun little race. And then uh, get through those last 30 as best as you can. And then kind of just fight to the end on those burpees. So. Yeah, it was a good little workout. Shout out to the Whoops. Whoops. 
gang. All right, we're gonna talk about sleep debt today because that is what is happening on the Whoop giveaway. We're doing Sleep Mania, this is the last week. When you get debt of sleep, it's because you've been not sleeping very much. So when we landed the first night, I passed out. I planned nothing in the morning. I slept like nine hours. Good for you. I woke up, I was 18% and in the red. 18% and in the red? Yeah. Bro, you gotta up that. Uh, I got 100% sleep that night, and then the focus I've had the last three nights is to try and get around seven hours of sleep every night, which we very rarely do when we're at competitions. I got 6.59 and 7.12. And then I went into the yellow Saturday and then come around here Sunday, your boy's in the green at 80%. And what I gotta say next is shout out to the Butter Gang. We're gonna go to the most the most slept this whole past week because we're still in the sleep mania and I'm gonna shout out to my boy, Casey Jensen. Tell Way me to go, it. Casey Jensen. He's a level six. He's got 57 recoveries, a 58 day data streak. Member for about a year, a couple of months. <laughs> he's been weightlifting, running, swimming, right, and he's from the U.S. He's 34. Shout out to you, Casey. Slide in my DMs. We're gonna hook you up with a new Whoop band. Shout out to the Whoop gang, Butter Gang. We out. Yeah, yeah. Event five. Uh, Kelly Clark had a rough event. 14th place finish. Shelby Neal and Rebecca Fusilé did great, and now there's five points between three women with one spot on the line in the final. Oh. Who's, your, who's your prediction? Who you got? Dude, that barbell's gonna be tough. Uh, I think that Shelby has the best overall fitness, but in terms of experience, I'll give the edge to Kelly, so go with one of them. What do you think Brooke is in? Brooke should be fine. I think she recovered well last night, and she looked great in that event. I, uh, I feel good about Brooke. Okay, and then Daniel Brandon, you think she's gonna win this whole thing? Yeah, I mean, I picked her to win beforehand. People gave me a hard time. Of course you did. You know, that's why we call him the man. Oh, no. She's yeah. come a long way this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so check out this new feature from GoWatt. It's pretty sweet. I like it because I'm going against a Justin Medeiros in a challenge. But if I click on this little hours button up here, I can set up a new GoWatt challenge and then set up my next 30 days of what I want to try and accomplish. And I want to try and hit uh, eight hours in the next 30 days. And this is going to help me set my goals by every morning at 11 a.m. Let me know this is what I want to do, okay? So set your goals, get after it, get flexible, get mobile, GoWatt. What's left? The final. That's okay. it. How do you feel about it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Muscle ups. Muscle ups, front squats, lunges, more muscle ups, shoulder to overhead, and overhead walking lunges. But yeah. uh, maybe go three for three here, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Possible. Finish strong. Thank you. Yo, what's good? What are we looking at? What are we, do what are we looking at? I was at? just looking at the leaderboard. Exactly. Yeah, bit. what did we find out? Uh, Looking like uh, we're 100 points out of six, which means we're going to the CrossFit Games. But uh, first, we gotta take care of business. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Let's Georgia go. Blue CrossFit Games! <laughs> Try and win this. I want to take home a sword or something. I yeah, hope they still do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what I was gonna ask. So what? Uh, what is the point difference between you and the other the second place? Saxon is four points behind. Hi. So if you take second, do you still beat him? Um, no, because he has an event win. Okay, so, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta beat him. I gotta beat him. You wanna race? Race Noah? Let's go. There you go, dude. Oh -ho. How many are we doing? Two. First one to 100. Oh, you got me. Nice job, dude. Ready? Yeah. That's the energy we need. That's right. That's that uh, BDE. BDE. I don't know what that stands for. <laughs> Do 18 ring muscle up, 15 front squats. They're then gonna lunge all the way down to here. Then they're gonna hit 12 bar muscle ups here on this rig. Nine shoulder to overhead. So they're gonna put that bar up to their shoulder, up overhead. That nine times. Then they're gonna put it overhead and walk this last remaining little distance. And then they are done for the weekend. This is the final event, final showdown. Let's see if Danielle can win. If Dallin Peps can stay on top. This is a lot. This is a lot. What are you going to do? Uh, on paper, do it. Tyler's going to punch his games or his tickets in games. However, I think that one Pepper's probably going to win it. Lights out. Broke up the muscle ups, knew it was a smart move, wasn't going to be one there. Front squats, my game plan was actually to go 14 1, but actually, I did like eight got to 14, and then did the one right into the lunges. And then 
and I really thought I was gonna break up the lunges. So I just was like, all right, cool, I'll drop it here. I'll drop it here. And then never did and ended up going unbroken. Kinda looks like Danielle might win this. I did 10 and two, and it paid off. Danielle's first to get the barbell overhead. The girl right next to her, who I don't know her name, is killing it. And then when I got to the shoulder to overhead, it was easier than I thought it would be. Um, Give the details. Danielle Brandon is at the head of the thing, and she's starting to lunge. And I'm afraid I'm gonna lose focus. Lights out. This is probably one of my strongest movements, overhead lunges, so it's over. but it's just super rewarding. Like you train so hard for this and when it just like goes just as you expected it to or planned to, it's just like so reassuring. Oh, Three in a row. I know. How's that feel? Crazy, I guess. I set this to be a goal. A couple months ago, we had a goal setting session and it was to win my semi and be the tannest one of the games. So we're on track. Starting off in that number one position, give it up. For Danielle Brandon. I have a lot of good things to take away from this weekend that we can hopefully put into a plan and be even more fit at the games. We know how to pick them. <laughs> <laughs> she won the fourth, the fifth, and, and the, the sixth, sixth workout. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. First place, Saxon Patchett. Don Pepper. Yeah. yeah. Looking jack. Thank you, man. Yeah. Is that what really matters? That's awesome. Uh, What's up? A lot better. Yeah. <laughs> the last one did not go as planned at all, so that just made it even more of a stressful announcement. Yeah. So this was only a stressful like five minutes, and not a stressful weekend. Oh, it was, it was a stressful, stressful weekend. It was a stressful weekend. I've been stressed since Saturday morning. Since Saturday morning. Well, I mean, probably longer than that, but like extra stress Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah. so can you tell me what happened yesterday? Um, I just had a really bad event on the rope climb. I literally failed the last pool and then had to like, failed another one. And so it was honestly going really well until the last pool. Okay. And then I sent it on the second workout and sent it a little too much, got really hot spent some time with medical and really just had to like, I literally spent like five or six hours just like doing recovery protocols last night to try to be like even okay to compete today. So. 
Made it through. That, that's not even considering all this elbow trauma. Yeah. So. It's wild. But you're going back to the cross again. We're going back to cross the games. How do you feel? That's all that matters. Great. I'm pumped. I'm like, I learned a lot from this weekend, so. What's the biggest takeaway? Um, biggest takeaway? <laughs> There's so many. But just to be confident, trust in myself. Okay. Yeah. Well, we never doubt it. Thank you. She's our favorite Brock! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've had my uh, screensaver on my phone was the West Coast leaderboard after for a year, and now I can like put my wife on there or something. <laughs> I'm sick of that thing. That's the end of the show! All right, make sure you yeah, like and subscribe. Jules, you got something to say? I've got nothing to say, but I'm just really proud of our people. You know, we got a good fight. Our, our girl Brooke got a good fight in there, but Danielle, man, -E. got his sword. Got she got his sword. -E. Yep, she got that energy. It's a real oh. thing. Uh, kind of energy. Okay, so up next, we're going to go to Minnesota. Daniel Brandon. We'll see oh, you at, uh, yeah, the we're Granite Granite Games. Games. We're going to hang out with Chloe Wilson because she's our girl. She's, yeah, she's uh, our horse in the fight. Let's go. And some Lincoln Pancakes. Yep. <laughs>